Welcome to the Emmy Award-winning Bristol, Tennessee 2018 Highlight Show, also known as Bristol Brag Time, where we tell you all about our wonderful city's major accomplishments. Okay, so we haven't won an Emmy yet, but it did make you pay attention, didn't it? It's been a busy time for Bristol, Tennessee, full of many wonderful achievements and just as much fun. So you're probably wondering, and even if you're not, I'm gonna tell you, what happened to make it such a fantastic year? So glad you asked. For starters, several hundred thousand people once again attended events at Bristol Motor Speedway and Bristol Dragway, two of the finest racing facilities in the world. And boy, did they have a great time. All of that action and speed really had them on their feet and more than a little excited about coming back next year. Nearly 44,000 people packed historic Bristol for the annual Bristol Rhythm and Roots Reunion Festival in September. And speaking of music, the Sounds of Summer Concert Series and Border Bash hosted more than 50 bands, with nearly 29,000 people enjoying all those wonderful tunes. The Paramount, one of the brightest jewels in our crown, saw more than 27,000 visitors fill the historic theater for 71 live music dance, comedy, ballet, plays, and film performances. Meanwhile, the birthplace of Country Music Museum continued to draw massive crowds as 30,000 plus visitors learned about Bristol's role in the birth of country music. We've also been able to make all kinds of great upgrades on and around our roads. More than 12 miles of streets were resurfaced, while 2,600 feet of sidewalks were added in the Fairmount area. And don't forget that we replaced the trees along State Street, making our charming downtown even more beautiful and inviting. We also initiated a downtown study plan. And to keep that downtown synergy going, we hosted another Coffee with the Council. And what about our police and fire departments, who are always there when we need them? Our police department continued its excellent engagement in our community, and our 71 officers were unceasing in keeping us all safe and out of trouble. And for some of us, that's no easy task. They took part in the National Night Out, operated the Citizens Police Academy and Camp Challenge. Well, I could go on and on, but I've only got a few minutes. Our fire department, also an amazing community partner, answered more than 5,100 calls, installed 344 smoke detectors to our residents at no charge, and trained more than 31,190 hours. Oh, and this is a biggie they received their first national accreditation. Are we lucky to have these folks in Bristol or what? We know how to build in Bristol too, as we constructed a new fire station out at the Pinnacle while we completed a school facilities study and purchased land for the construction of the new Vance Middle School. We also expanded the hugely popular splash pad facilities at Steel Creek Park and a wastewater treatment plant aeration system upgrade started with 80% of the construction already completed from the $2.6 million construction contract. Let's not forget, like I'm gonna let you, that we started a comprehensive community vision plan in which 492 citizens participated while 19 community members are now serving on the advisory committee. We also issued 289 residential permits and issued residence permits for more than $7 million in construction. And commercial construction rose to nearly $20 million. Not too shabby, eh? We continue enhancing our economic strategy to advance jobs, create business, and bring in more retail. After all, why wouldn't you want to do business with us? If you've been listening, it's obvious we're pretty darn great. Moving right along. We held the fourth annual Hiring Expo, which was another success with in excess of 700 job seekers and 45 businesses participating. Yep, when it comes to our city, boy, aren't we lucky to be living in Bristol right now? With everything you've already heard, there's even more we just have to tell you about, including our Moody's AA2 bond rating, our comprehensive annual financial report. We were a first annual Pineapple Award recipient the Ida S. Jones Tennis Center earned national recognition from the United States Tennis Association. We received a 99 out of 100 on the Water System Sanitary Survey from the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation. 
We received the 2018 John S. Wilder Rebuild Tennessee Award for the Wastewater Treatment Plant Aeration Upgrade Project from the Tennessee Department District Association. <laughs> Boy, was that a mouthful. Our Parks and Rec Department also had another banner year with thousands of people taking part in more than a hundred different programs. And how lucky we are to have a park as gorgeous as Steel Creek for us to enjoy, not to mention that nature center expansion. Retail continues to grow in Bristol at the Pinnacle, the region's premier shopping experience, which draws six million visitors every year and is responsible for 2,000 jobs. And in downtown, which continues to thrive with lots of help from our friends that believe in Bristol. We're running out of time because, hey, Bristol is booming and we've really got it going on. But we have to mention Aerospace Park, which is going to be huge. The Tri-Cities Business Festival, Center Point 74, our fabulous State Street Farmer's Market. Little libraries and big libraries because the Bristol Library is the absolute best. Our $22 million investment in a new downtown hotel. A 50-acre site in the Bristol Business Park that already has a 36-acre pad ready to go. And Dog Park Dash, for which we received a $25,000 grant. And did I mention that our new Bristol Is branding has been off the charts? And the quarter of a million visitors who visit our website yearly will soon enjoy an improved sight. The spotlight is shining brightly on our city, and it's all due to the wonderful people in Bristol, Tennessee. And maybe just a little bit because of all the great folks that help run and lead this amazing place we call home. We can't thank our city leaders and officials enough, as well as the 60 plus board and commission members who volunteer their time and efforts for making Bristol a great place to live, work, and play because Bristol is definitely something special.